Hi, my dear doers. Now that I'm able to keep track of my annual inventory and adjust my stock, I would like to take my product's units of measure into account when managing our inventory. Selfie Wood often orders high quantities of material to manufacture our goods, so it's vital to stock them properly. In fact, some of our vendors sell products in meters while we stock them in centimeters. It would be annoying to do the conversion each time I need a certain quantity of the product. So I'll use Odoo's unit of measure feature to facilitate my work with SW stock. Let's say that we need some rope to produce some of our goods, but our vendor provides it only by rolls of 250 meters. That's quite a large number that we'll need to register into our stock and we'd lose time converting the measurements when using it. Fortunately, Odoo's UOM feature allows us to just set up products before buying them so our inventory app will do the conversion by itself. Such a time-saving feature. So let's check this out right now. All right, here I am on my database. Let's go ahead and jump straight to the inventory application. And then from here, I'm going to go to configuration settings, and we're going to activate the option that will allow us to uh, use units of measure. So we're going to scroll down to the products section and activate this option right here, which I've already done. Now you can go ahead and jump directly to the units of measure by clicking on this button right here, but I'm going to first look at the categories that we have available to us by going to configuration UOM categories. So once we click here, we're going to see again all of the categories that are available. So I have unit, weight, working time, length slash distance, and volume. And then I can go ahead and add uh, units of measure that will be related to one of these categories. So let's go back to configuration and UOM. Okay, so here I have all of my units of measure. I see uh, what unit it is on the left. I have the category here, so we can actually organize these by category by clicking on category. Um, so I have um, just two for units, I have several for weight um, and length and distance as well, and volume. And then we also have three different types um, for the units of measure. So if I organize by type, I'm going to see if First of all, that I have um, some units that are bigger than the reference of measure. And then of course, we're going to have some that are the reference of measure for that category. Okay, and so we should have one reference for every category. And then we have some that are smaller than the reference of unit for that category as well. Okay, but let's look at our meter, for example. Okay, this is um, one of our reference units of measure. Okay, and we see that here, it's for length slash distance. Um, I just put M for meter, but you can write meter if you would like. And we also have our rounding precision on the right. So this is useful. The way I have this set up right now will actually allow me to specify um, an, an amount that's between one and two meters or um, between just one unit. So uh, here I can say I have one meter and three centimeters, for example. But if I would only like to round by one, so one meter, two meters, three meters, I could change this to one, that zero, zero. But I like it the way it is, so let's go ahead and click on save. We're gonna go back to our units of measure and I'm gonna look at centimeters, for example. Okay, so this is smaller than the reference unit of measure. And the reference unit of measure for this category, as we know, is the meter. Okay, and since I have specified that this is smaller than the reference unit of measure, we're going to see that the ratio is uh, 100. Now, the ratio is 100 for the centimeter because, of course, it's 100 times smaller than the meter. Okay, but you can change it based on your own measurements that you have added to your system. But for this case, I'm not just telling you this for fun. We're actually going to um, create uh, a new a new unit of measure, and Odoo will take this into account, um, the ratio into account, uh, when we're adding new products to our stock, and it will make conversions for us when we go to purchase those items. So let's create our new unit of measure. I'm going to call this uh, Roll 250. And I'm going to put it in the category length slash distance. And I'm gonna say that this is bigger than the reference unit of measure, which is one meter. So let's go ahead and put the ratio as 250 here and then save. Okay, so that was pretty quick and simple. Now we're gonna create a new product where we're going to apply this unit of measure. So I'm gonna go to products, create. This will be for some rope. It's a storable product. Let's sell this at $40. Okay, and then I have my unit of measure, which I can apply here. So I'm going to sell it in centimeters. 
Okay, and then I have my purchase unit of measure as well that I can define. So this is the unit of measure that my vendor will use uh, when they sell this product to me. Okay, so I have roll 250. And then we're going to add a vendor actually. So let's go ahead and put Gemini Furniture. I'm gonna add a price, let's say $20. And we're gonna save and close and save this product. So let's go ahead and purchase this item so that we have some on hand. All right, so we're gonna go to the purchase application and then I'm gonna create a new RFQ. I'm gonna choose my vendor. And of course that product that we just created, rope. And I'm only gonna purchase one quantity for now at a unit price of $20. We're gonna save. Now, when I click on this item, I'm gonna see that that quantity is going to be in the roll 250, okay? Because that's what we set as um, the purchase unit of measure. But let's go ahead and continue with the receipt. So we're gonna confirm the order and receive the products. And when we go to receive the products, we're gonna see that Odoo has actually converted um, the measurement for us. So even though we purchased it in one roll of 250 meters, we know that we sell it using centimeters. So now when I go to accept the product, I'm going to be able to say how many centimeters are done. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the lime. And then we can put that 25,000 here and confirm. Okay, so I see a demand of 25,000, I've accepted 25,000, and then we can validate. All right, and then it's done, but what's also cool is that we're gonna see um, the correct uh, unit of measure on the product as well um, when we're looking at our stock. So let's go ahead and look at the product here, so the rope. And we'll see we have 25,000 centimeters of rope on hand. And that's all for this unit of measure uh, video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.